Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, and uh, I'll mean to be putting up a second video. I'm uploading it now. It's basically thehill.com, and it's articles that I saw on the Hill today about the NRC and about the new new guy that Obama appointed. And um, basically, what we really need to do is is stay informed and to find out and search out information every day, and then take action and call our elected officials and just tell them that it's not okay to be just rubber stamping anybody because they gave somebody a contribution. Uh, David Vitter and Fred Upton uh, exposed a report today that basically said the NRC grossly underestimates the cost of implementing its rules. So th what does that mean? That actually means that the NRC is endangering the lives of every single American. It's something that we've been saying, you know. Um, I really liked Kevin Blanche's uh, video blog today about the fucking Japanese going to be dumping all that water into the ocean. Um, we've been knowing it's coming, but you can't ever prepare to get punched in the face, to be honest. It's just not something you can just go, oh, yeah, it's no big deal. Um and then I found an article that was hilariously funny about environmental groups suing the government because tuna is being overfished. <laughs> the sockeye tuna being overfished, really? Without a word of them saying that it's all been contaminated with cesium-137 and where there's cesium, there's plutonium and tritium. How about that? They don't even test for that stuff. But... um I hope you guys will take some action on and start looking into these articles and posting it out there because we have got to expose these monsters for who they are. And most Americans don't even know. I mean, I didn't know until two or three years ago how completely horrible these people are and what they've been doing to every single person in our country. So, I mean... It's up to us, you guys, and we have to just keep on. Like Ackerman said today, we are fighting for our lives. We're, we're fighting for our grandchildren's lives, and we're fighting to have like a few hundred thousand people actually survive these monsters and what they've done to our planet. I mean, I was trying to read the provisions uh, that were changed in the Clean Water Act in the new regulations, but... It's gobbledygook. I don't know if you guys have ever looked at that 1,600-page document, but it references this act and that act, and it doesn't actually say what it's doing. So I'm going to have to really do some digging and figure that one out. But from what I could tell, it extends the life of certain regulations. And so, you know, I have to actually do more digging. But anyways, I wanted to get this video up really quick. I know I said I'm going to be posting every other day, which is an interesting thing because it actually takes a lot of time. I, I you know, trying to get my little, um, this guy, see it's uploading right now onto the YouTubes. So what I did, because I don't know how to actually access all this whole computer thing yet on my laptop, I basically photographed me looking at the page, and my hand was shaking, so you guys can't give me a hard time about that. But uh, I wanted you to see the actual page instead of just the link, which I am going to be linking up. But um, hopefully we can just keep fortifying each other, because we've got to keep up the good fight. And the worse it gets, the harder they're going to come after us. So... We just have to know that we have to be determined and we have to decide to be happy and we have to learn techniques so that we can be happy and that's why I like tapping the EFT, uh, Emotional Freedom Technique, which maybe I'll show you that tomorrow night because I think that's one of the best things that we can do for ourselves. It's a new technique that actually helps us mm, rebalance our energy so that we don't get overwhelmed by the mass of negativity in our world right now. At least it helps me. So anyways, ciao you guys and uh, 
sweet dreams. Talk to you tomorrow or not tomorrow, two days from now. Ciao.